lot more So the blame and the shame's on you For being so damn poor It ain't the price gouging And it ain't the inflation It ain't everyone above you Trying to make a buck from you in school And the whole congregation I had that reduced lunch I had the benefit cards Never occurred to me to blame my family For life being so damn hard I should have paid attention Back when I was in school Then I could figure up the tax I would know a lot of facts I missed the class where they taught the rules I was memorizing capitals I was in the spelling bee I must have skipped the part Where they taught the art of private equity I was selling chocolate bars I had a disorder I was cutting up a frog, got lost in the fog Learning how to play recorder If you only worked a little harder If you worked a little harder uh-huh. If you worked a little harder uh-huh. If you worked a little harder Then you'd have a lot more Shame and the blame's on you for being so damn poor. It ain't the banks and it ain't the taxes. It ain't the payday loans and high rent homes and predatory fees and practices. Wave your dumb flag, whatever it means. But you should ask yourself when it comes to health of the poor, really all that free if you worked a little harder. Oh, oh. If you worked a little harder, uh-uh. if you worked a little harder, you'd have a lot more. So the blame and the shame's on you for being so damn poor. Yeah. Trevor's getting some really cool stuff. He got you going down the side hill over here, loading on the go. Looked really cool. Yeah, it's pretty small. It's yeah. hard to see. But yeah, it's it's cool. It looks like almost fake. You're gonna love it. <laughs> oh, I've been driving combine for three years now. Before I drove combine, I was driving the grain trucks, and before I drove grain truck, I was doing hay truck. It's a lot of trucking. <laughs> Combine's fun. You lose track of time real quick, and the day flies by. I, uh, I'm 25. 25. I've been doing this since I was 16 or harvest in general. What made you want to get into agriculture? Uh, Charlie Mead. That guy let me have my chance out there and I just saw what, what it had to offer and I loved it. Good. Yeah, Charlie's awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah. Really good guy. Yeah. At first I did. I was scared every hill I went on. I would think the stuff that isn't even steep was the scariest shit ever. <laughs> but now I can pretty much go anywhere. Yeah. I, I see the skyrockets. I cut the skyrockets. Oh, yeah. At this point, it's nothing. It's nothing <laughs> besides fun. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, usually once you cut the skyrockets, ain't nothing to do anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. We've been running from 6.30 until 8.39. Holy cow. Stop cutting around 7, 7.30. Okay. Do you service at night? Uh, sometimes we service at night. Sometimes we service in the day. Okay. <clears throat> we finished a field last night at like 6 o'clock, so we serviced last night. We got straight to cutting at 7 today. Okay. It's a little tough in the morning. You guys got to do any adjustments or it's kind of just running? Uh, every morning we grease it, check everything out very thoroughly, and just make sure we don't have any problems. And then yeah. at the end of the night, do another walk around and do it all again the next day. <laughs>